Okay, so here we are again, back with the Kadak Entertainer. And this time we're going to do a dessert. So when you've cooked your barbecue for your friends and your family and you're sitting down eating your chicken and your burgers or your kebabs or your halloumi, um, wallop one of these on very first of all and um, sit down then, enjoy your meal. And while you're enjoying that meal, you can actually... Um, well, this can be cooking in the background and is a really good dessert. So um, what we're going to do today, we're going to cook an apple and berry strudel. I'll show it to you shortly. It's a frozen one from Tesco's, so I'm not going to lie, I didn't make it. But it makes a really, really good dessert for a barbecue. So we're going to strike up the barbie. First thing I'm going to do is, is light only the two main gases because we're going to use this as an oven and we're going to bring this up to 200 degrees and we're going to bake it on this back shelf here of the barbecue. So let's strike up that gas. Straight away, third attempt. There we go. We're all lit. That's good. We're ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is pull down the lid and here's the gauge. You may have seen this on other videos that we've done about the Kadak entertainer. But what we're trying to do here now is to get this temperature up to 200 degrees and then we can use this as an oven. Now in the past when I've tried this it's always been a little bit under temperature so I'm going to get, try and get this to sit between 200 and 225 and I think that is a true representation of 200 degrees. So we're going to let this climb and then we're going to come back shortly and I'll show you the preparation of the apple and berry strudel and then how we're going to cook it. Okay, right, so here we are. This is about five, six minutes after um, we pop this on. So it, you can see the temperature is coming up nicely and we want that to be between the 200 and the 250 just so we've got a good temperature there. So what are we cooking? We're going to be cooking a Tesco's berry strudel. There you go. Cinnamon spiced apple and berries wrapped in flaky pastry. You can't get much better than that. And we're gonna serve it up with a big dollop of fresh sour cream. Fresh sour cream, is there such a thing? Let's just go for a big dollop of sour cream to go with it. So what a perfect dessert that comes off the barbecue after you've been using it for all those burgers. So what are we going to do? Well, it says this needs to be cooked between 35 and 40 minutes. So we're gonna pop that in there um, in, in the oven. We're going to open this up. Obviously, we're gonna release some of that heat and you can feel the heat coming up. Uh, well, I can from here. I've got a tinfoil tray. This is something I've used before. Um, so I'm going to use it again because the tray is very useful and I'm not going to throw it away. Sits really, really nicely on that back shelf. And then you've got, here is the strudel coming out of that packet. Pop that onto that tray. And I think you can see what we're actually trying to achieve here now sits on there, this acts as an oven, that sits in the background and bakes away for 30 to 40 minutes. Let's just bring that lid down now straight away. You can see we've lost some of that temperature because we've had that lid open, but that will soon come back up to that 200 to 225 mark. I'm going to leave in there now for 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes, we'll come back and we'll look at it and we see how it goes. Now the saying 20 to 40 minutes is the cooking time. So I'm quite expecting that to, uh, to be true. We'll watch that temperature gauge come up. If we need to moderate that temperature, I may well come back to you just so we can actually show you how we do that during that cooking process. And hopefully we will end up with something like that at the end of it, which is a perfect dessert for a barbecue. Come back to you in a few minutes. 
Okay, right, it's actually been five minutes. The temperature there is on full, and that is actually rising pretty quickly up to 250. So we need to try and gauge this. So I'm going to turn these down to about two thirds of the way. So we've only got a third of gas coming in. A, it means that we're saving on gas. And B, we should then be able to regulate this temperature to about 225, which is what we're trying to do. So we'll look at that for the next few minutes. And if that's going to be a problem, I'll come back again and show you how we can regulate this a little bit more. So catch up with you soon. Okay, so I just want to show this to you. It's another five minutes in, so we are actually 10 minutes in now to the cooking process of the apple and strudel berry. And we've got that temperature now, bang on the dot where we want to keep it. So it's about 2, 220, 225, which is perfect. We've got those two center controls only on a third each, the two outer ones and not on at all. So that is now nicely acting as an oven and baking away inside there. So we've got another 10 minutes, which will give us that first 20 minutes before we have a look at what's going on in there and how this apple and berry strudel is coming. So we'll come back in another 10 minutes and have a look and just see what's going on. Catch you all again soon. Right then, here we are. We're 20 minutes in to the cooking process and that temperature is still sitting between the 200 and the 250, around about the 225. Let's open up the barbecue and have a look to see what that strudel looks like, okay? Now don't forget, when you open that lid, it is an oven, so be careful of the heat coming out. So pull that up, stand back. And let's have a look okay so there you go you can see that it's starting to brown on the edges which is exactly what we wanted it to do and we've got yep it's coming along quite nicely so this is halfway through the cooking process i'm going to bring that lid down again now so we're halfway through that process so we've got another 20 minutes to go so we're just going to keep ticking along quite nicely um it may take a little bit longer on the barbecue but at the end of the day you're cooking outside you're eating your meal you're feeding your family you're with your friends you're having that glass of wine or or cold beer so it doesn't really matter but what i think is important here is to show you that we can do this so we'll come back to you again in about another 20 minutes and we'll check out to see what's happening inside catch up with you again soon so here we go another 20 minutes into that cooking process. So that's 40 minutes in total. Let's take a look inside the Kadak and see what's going on. Wow, look at that. That is nicely, nicely rising as puff pastry. Smells absolutely glorious. Um, I think it's pretty fair to say it's not there yet. So I'm going to give it another 15 minutes and then I think we should just about be ready to serve that up. So another 15 minutes, that will make 55 minutes in total, but I always knew it would take a little bit longer to actually cook, especially if I'm standing there with the lid open and letting all the heat out like a Muppet. So there you go temperature has now just dropped you can see down to just above 150 but that needs to get back up to 225 um, another 15 minutes and then i think we should be able to serve up some apple and berry strudel how lovely will that be so catch you all again in about 15 minutes time okay so that's the last 15 minutes up let's take a look and see what's going on inside so this has now been in for 55 minutes and i think it's fair to say that is well and truly cooked just look at that that is amazing this kadak barbecue can be used as an oven now one good thing as well is look 
I think it's a good thing we used that foil tray that I made there because those berries and all that apple and spice cinnamon has come out of that. So what I'm going to do, I can't do this while I'm uh, holding the camera. I'm going to take it off here, bring it onto the side, and then we'll just have a look to see what it's like and see what it tastes like as well. So bear with me just while I try and get everything sorted. But the first thing I'm going to do here is turn that gas off. One, two, so gas is off and then we'll reposition and see what it's all like. So there you go. I've moved it off the back of the Kadak barbecue onto a wooden board. I've got some plates. I've got the sour cream there to serve up with it. And that is looking absolutely fabulous. Now you're not telling me that you wouldn't be proud to serve that up at a barbecue with all your mates and your family. That's really good. So let's just have a quick look here. See if I can uh, cut that. Oh, that's really good, look at that. See, it doesn't even stick to that foil. Let's try and serve that up onto the plate there. Okay, look at that. Really, really nice. And what a better way to serve it up and to give it a nice dollop of sour cream there on the side. Look at that. How gorgeous does that look? But tell me, would you not want to serve that up a barbecue? Absolutely wonderful. So there you go. That is a cinnamon apple and berry spiced strudel from Tesco's cooked on the Kadak entertainer and it goes to show yet again we can use this as a nice little oven so it's not just there for your meat and your fish and the vegetables on the grill you can use it as an oven and do some baking as well well there you go thanks very much for watching everybody if you found that of interest please 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 give me the thumbs up i would really really appreciate it and hit that red button and subscribe because the more of you that subscribe the more of these little things we can bring you we can show you more baking tips and we've got lots and lots up our sleeve to bring you um, in the near future thank you again for watching everybody please stay safe and bye for now